Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen my fellow video viewers welcome back to our channel today we are going to dive into the wonderful world of CapCut the most fantastically funny video editing software out there if you haven't downloaded it yet go to the google and type capcut.com and click download for some people if this option is not showing up which means it's banned in your region but no worry i got you use any vpn and you're free to go so all right my friends without any further ado let's do this first i am going to import my videos by clicking here and i am going to drag one of my video in the timeline right here now under this section you can see this burger like icon right here in this icon there are three options one is color of scope and preview quality and export still frame in preview quality there are two options performance priority and quality priority pc is not that good select the performance priority if your pc is good select the quality priority in here you can see the lens icon which you can zoom in or zoom out your video on next you can see the ratio in here you can change the aspect ratio you can change to 916 so that we can use in reels or youtube shorts and this is for full screen so let's talk about this area right here this timeline so if you want to cut the video you can use the split icon right here these two icons what we use for is delete the left side of the video or delete the right side of the video so next is delete and another is freeze frame and this is reverse This is rotate and this is crop. If you want to add in another video, just go to this section and add another video on the timeline, like this. So in the left side, you can see three icons right here. One is for mute, another is for hidden, another is for lock. And also you can see a pen icon right here. If you click on it, you can add a thumbnail to your video. So there are some templates where you can add your thumbnail and also test. So whatever is used the best, just click on it. Now let's see about this section right here. So the first is adjust bend and click on the plus icon. And if you see the top right corner, there is an adjustment options right here. Basic HSL curves, you can adjust whatever you like. Now under the filters option, you can see a variety of filters. Just add the filter whichever you like. Now under transition, there are a variety of transition right here. You can add whichever transition you like. Under stickers, there are so many stickers right here, like subscribe, likes, etc, etc. So let me select the subscribe icon right here. And let me adjust the size. And let me adjust the size. See, it's that simple. Now, under the test, we can simply add a test like this. Under effects. Under FX, you can see different test effect like this. This is also cool, the test template, which automatically add the animation to the test. And this is the crazy part. So there is an option called auto caption, where it's automatically add the caption for you. So I just add the audio to the timeline right here. So let me click the auto caption and click create. On the right hand, on the top right hand side, you can see is the font test, color, and preset style, position. If you want, you can add a stroke, you can change the stroke color, you can change test color. So that's cool. So 
so in bubble you can see different templates for bubble so like this other effects you can see is the test effect so in audio there is an option called music where you can add the music if you want but the probably most of the music are copyrighted if you go in next you can see the sound effects where you can add the all the sound effects you like but heartbeat clapping anything so when you click the video and go to the top right side you can adjust the scale size opacity you can also stabilize your video if your video is shaky you can also stabilize so in this you can see cutout uh, where you can add a uh, green screen if you want to remove the green screen just click on the chroma key and there is a mask and there is an enhance i will create another video to talk detail about these effects so no worries so under the animation you can see fade in fade out and many animations right here under adjustment you can adjust the color term anything you like on the right side you can see these three options right here in here you can see there is a line connected to this captions and this video so if i if i move this the caption will also move with this so if i turn off this icon right here this turn off link is you can usually move your video clip anywhere you like without linking your captions or effects so next is auto snapping i don't know i don't know that much about the auto snapping so next is the magnet so what this do is when you drag this video over anywhere it will automatically attach to your original video clip if you turn off the magnet you can move the video clip anywhere you want so next is for the audio so in this audio option when you go to the top right corner you can adjust the volume or fade in or fade out and also you can add the noise selection or voice effects so there are plenty of voice effects like here the deep high low mid echo it's funny it's pretty cool you can you should try it so now when you click on the export on the top right corner you can change the title name uh you can change where you want to export the video at resolution there are plenty of options in resolution 4k 2k hd and build rate you can change the build rate codec format and frame rate and also the audio export options so there's a wave and mp3 and click on export and there you have it thanks for hanging out with us today if you want to see some premium tutorials click on this video right here and for after office tutorial click on this video right here if you enjoyed this capcut tutorial give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our future adventures